and welcome back to gold rush rp so you know we've been trying to move along and do a bunch of new stuff but the problem is gold rush seems to keep updating the server a lot so today we have yet another new update on gold rush that includes quite a lot including uh, some a lot of additions apparently to mexico fossil photography and apparently the fish chum that again we spent the whole entire last episode trying to figure out was just bugged and it's now in the hunter shop so we'll definitely check that out and then we're going to check out the fossil photography for today and also mexico probably now it seems for the fossil photography we actually purchased the map that we need and the camera or i guess we purchased the camera from the general stores and we purchased the map we need over here from the dino magazine photo collector and we can go around and take a bunch of photos of fossils turn them in and then apparently get some money from it so that might be a little fun activity to do again it's not like a super high action activity but it is something new on the server so i figured we'd check that out and we also might be checking out mexico i'm not sure if i want to wait for it to develop even more before i go visit it again but apparently since we last went over there a lot has changed and a lot has been added as well as a full new town or two so it might be worth checking out mexico today but for uh for Starting out, we're going to one, go buy the uh, little map and a camera and try out the fossil photography, as well as buy some fish chum and see if our crab pot that we put down yesterday is still there. Maybe we can try it out today. And of course, try out the photography a bit. So let's just grab, I don't know, like $100. We're gonna really need to make some money real soon. We're getting a little low. Let's grab $100, I guess, for now. And uh, hopefully, I don't think the map will cost more than that. And uh, let's head over here again to the photo collector buy ourselves a map and then buy ourselves a camera as well i'll see you guys once we're over there all righty so we're over at the little fossil photography place right now kind of a cool little inside i'm not gonna lie all right so here we are able to check out the leaderboard see this uh so poor quality collectors okay no one has really got any it doesn't look uh what about the high quality collectors no one okay so we'll be one of the first collectors if we actually do this well so let's buy a bone map how much is gonna come? Six hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, that's a. Oh my gosh, six hundred and fifty dollars. That's more money than we have at the moment. Or that's pretty much all of our money. Oh, oh boy. I do want to check out this new content for you guys, but that's gonna be all of our money. Uh, let's go check how much a, a camera is. So at least we can put that into the equation as well. Let's head over to the general store real fast, and we are over by the general store. I'm really hoping this is not like a stupid amount of money to buy. Let's take a look though. $350. Oh my. So we can get a regular camera or a advanced camera. That's a lot of money. So 210 plus 650, 600 and what? $60 or $860 for the full setup. setup. I don't even think we have enough money for that oh boy let's go back to the bank and see if there's anything we can sell and then in the next episode whatever we do we need to make some money we are down bad bad we need to make a lot of money let's head back to the bank see if there's any items we could possibly sell get our money up so i can show you guys this new content and probably make no money today but either way let's go see all righty so checking out our bank we really don't have that much of things that are actually valuable we have the big game meat, I guess, but that's not really that valuable. Um, I mean, we have our we're navy, but obviously we can't really sell that. Plus, we're probably going to keep it anyways. Sugar, that's not enough to really make money from. Same with the venison. We need to get rid of these stupid alcohol crates because that's like $700 we put into that stuff. Quite a waste of money, to be honest, since we're not actually going to be able to do that. Uh, panther eyes. We don't really have that many valuable things in here, to be honest. So it's a little hard. We could go back to treasure hunting, but we don't know too much. We could ask around. Someone might know about it. Did any of y'all by any chance know anything about metal detecting? Uh, so I tried it for a couple hours. I couldn't find anything. It's really not yeah, worth so, it. It's fucked. So some of us... Okay, put it this way. I was holding a metal detector, right? Wait. I was with a group of five. I couldn't see my detector lighting up. Lily here couldn't see it lighting up, but the other three could. Oh, boy. So fuck knows. Absolutely fuck knows. Oh boy. Uh, from what we're gathering, I guess based on your height, maybe, you know, everyone gets a different level of detection. But the fact that it lit up for three of them and those three were pointing to the same place is oh, kind of God. odd. Yeah. It's, eh. So, what, do you no. just go around random spots and just have it out looking? Mm hmm. 
Okay. All of them. I'm gonna go to the clothing store, get Little a new outfit. Delighted. Need to start impressing these ladies okay. around these fine streets. All right. Well, I'm only getting out of here. Y'all take care though. Thank you for the advice. I appreciate it. All right. So apparently the metal detecting is like a little scuffy and very hard. So I'm not sure if we're going to actually be able to do that. We've been having some bad luck with pretty much everything, but at least today we can take out, check out the crab bait. It should be at the hunter store. So well, there's actually one down here. Let's go head over to there. We should probably grab our horse at some point. So we're not having to freaking run around everywhere, but uh, let's head over to the general store. And wait, what was that? Wait, what was this? Enter to sell. Oh, this is where you sell cigarettes. Okay, okay. That's that's good to know for sure. But let's head over to the hunting stall, and I believe we should be able to buy the fish chum there. Now we can go and test it out. Finally, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do the fossil photography today, just because we really don't have enough money for it. Here we go, fish chum. Finally, let's buy like what ten of them. Is that ten? Eleven? Twelve? 12 yeah fish chum all right there we go at least we finally bought that and we can test out the reinforced crab pot um but for that we're gonna have to head all the way over to where we actually placed it which i believe is like all the way over here so uh it's gonna be quite the long journey but what's nice about heading over there is that over there is actually quite close to mexico so what we can do is head over here test out the crab pot put the bait in it and then since it's probably going to be something that we have to wait on we put the bait in here we come down we check out mexico for a bit check that out a while check out all the new towns and everything that's in there and then we come back at the end of the episode and can check on the crab pot and see what we got I think that should be the plan for today. So uh, let's go grab our horse, head over to the crab pot. I'll see you guys once we're over there. Then again, we're going to check out Mexico and then uh, go from there, I guess. So I'll see you guys once again, in just a little bit. Once we are pretty much all the way across the whole damn county, it's going to take us quite a little bit to get there. And we are just about at the location where we placed the crab pot. Question is, is it still here after a day? So I remember I placed it over here. I think it should be around one of these. Oh, wait, it is still here. Okay. We can't see it, but we can check it. I'm guessing there's nothing in there. Okay, now we can add bait. So we can just add it. Okay, it's going up on the bottom left. So let's stop. Added 288 chum. Okay, now do we just wait here? Or what do we do is the question. Okay, wait, remaining time, nine minutes and how much? Remaining time, nine minutes, 36, 35 seconds. Okay, so it looks like it says nine minutes, although it looks to be going down in about three seconds a second. So we should be done in about three minutes. So I guess we're going to wait here for three minutes and uh, see what happens. Hopefully we catch ourselves some crabs and uh, hopefully the good kind. I'll see you guys in just a second, or I guess in three minutes all righty so i believe that this should be ready now let's check it so ready okay enter to check on bait okay let's do that you found something okay what did we find whatever let's add bait a little bit less this time so let's add 144 this time what do we get from this so we got three crabs and that was for i think 288 bait this time we did 160 i think Oh boy, I think we did 160. I'll put it on screen now, whatever we just did. And uh, let's see what we get from this, because maybe we got to figure out if we need more or less bait to get more or less crabs. Might be kind of interesting. Imagine having like five of these going at the same time and somewhere that, you know, no one's around. That it honestly would be pretty good. Let's wait a little bit till this is done and uh, then we'll check on it again and see how many we got this time. Again, we got three from 288. Let's see how much we get from 166. I'll see you guys in just another couple minutes. And the time has gone by for the next one. Let's check. So again, last time we got three. Let's see how much we get this time. Let's see. And let's add bait. Let's add it like three fourths up this time. Boom. So 54 instead. And this time we got... We got three small mouth bass. Okay, so you can actually get other fish from this as well. This actually might be a really good way to honestly make money. I'm not going to lie. If we could actually have like five or six of these going at the same time, we could make a ton of money from this. And it's pretty much passive. You kind of just go add the bait to each one of them. How much bait we have? Seven. And then you just wait a bit. So, I mean, pretty, pretty simple. If we had a lot more money, this might be a good thing to invest in. Uh, let's do this last little run and then see how much money we can actually make from it. 
uh, and then see if it's of course worth it because from these like three runs if we made let's say like 40 50 dollars if we had five or six of these going we we're making like 250 dollars every like 20 minutes this could be a really freaking good way to make money obviously we don't have enough money to invest in a bunch of these at the moment but for the future it might be worth it but uh let's wait again another eight minutes and uh, i'll see you guys back once we're once again checking out the uh, pot and hopefully getting a little bit more and let's do the final check how much did we get from this one let's see wait 14 what 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 is there no pot there anymore there is and we can add bait to it okay well let's add the exact amount that we did last time i think it was right around here boom okay that's way too much i think we need less than that but 17 crabs excuse me uh okay not sure if it's supposed to be like that i'm get i'm guessing that's right Let let's go try and sell it and see if we can just make like a, a bunch of money from it or whatever this might be the new money making method to be honest uh let's go see though because if these crabs are actually worth something decent even like a dollar a piece will honestly be worth it let's go uh head over to the butcher and sell them off and we're over at the hunting stall let's see how much we get so again we have what 17 crabs and three smallmouth bass let's see oh 24 dollars honestly not bad honestly not bad at all especially if we were going to buy more fish chum with that money and then obviously wait what they didn't even okay so they don't okay they don't take the crabs uh can we craft with them or something uh let me go over to the saloon and see if maybe we can craft something with the crabs because we got 24 dollars, i guess just for those three fish so honestly if you get fish from it it's definitely worth it because that's a ton of money that's like what six seven dollars per fish that is quite a lot uh let's see though quickly if we can use anything or we can craft these crabs up into something maybe howdy howdy you mind if i use the cooker for a second yeah go for it sweetie. Alrighty. thank you very much mm -hmm. all righty let's take a look here and let's try cooking just like three of them and see what happens okay nothing okay so that doesn't work all right well while i'm here uh y'all got any food meals yeah we do uh so we have a plate a drink and cigarettes for dollars i'll grab that then Alrighty, so 11 dollars, please there you go oh thank you of course I'm been busy today nope it's uh been very slow okay yeah black water's been a little in and out here and there mm -hmm. all right well y'all have a good rest of y'all day yeah likewise Stay safe. thank you for the food i appreciate it of course bye 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 all righty sweet got some food got Seven some drink people tried to fucking oh my she doesn't sound too happy in there but uh let's i wonder if actually can we sell the crabs over at the farmer over here let's have a real quick check before we go check on our crab pot again all right so i'm curious if he will buy them maybe he will let's see sell uh chili okay these are all honey sticks carrots lettuce well okay yeah so he won't buy the crabs but i'm guessing someone around here makes like crab stew or crab rangoon or something and maybe we could sell it to them if they have a recipe for it but i guess for now we'll just hold on to them uh if we find a place where we can sell them in the future what i'm thinking is we could also maybe maybe over at the uh little fish market over here where we chopped up the fish yesterday maybe we can chop the crabs there and then sell that meat not too sure but uh oh actually is there uh oh there is a fish market here let's go check out real quick if we're able to actually chop up the crabs so that might be a way to be able to chop them up and sell them let's go check real quick all right so let's see over here oh yeah there is a new fish market over here i guess let's see are we able to trade crab let's see redfish pinnel rainbow trout musky sturgeon catfish okay we can't trade them here or cut them up here either it seems have one last look through okay we definitely can't I don't think there's anything new over at the fish market stall. Pretty sure this is all the same. Yep, this is all the same still. So I'm not really sure we're going to be using the crabs for. I mean, maybe we can sell to someone in the future. But that fish definitely made us like $24. So honestly, we were able to actually 
get more of those it would be worth it but obviously not at the moment let's go drop these crabs off though and uh, have one final check on our crab pot and then we're going to be checking out all the new additions to mexico so i'll see you guys once we're over at our good old crab pot checking it out and we are back over by our little crab pot thing let's go check it out and see what we got this time all righty so let's check and i guess we'll load it up as well try and get to where i got last time which i think was about here okay still too much i think i'm not sure but let's see what we got this time we got what did we get did we even get anything from that i don't think we got anything from that one yeah i don't think we got anything from that one okay so there is a chance to get nothing i guess unless did it drop it on the ground where our pockets too full no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so again, I guess there is a chance to get nothing from it. Interesting, but oh yeah, I guess we're going to go check out Mexico now. So uh, I'm going to probably head over there. I don't think there's anything we really need to do beforehand. We're obviously going to bring enough money if there's any. I think it's like a $20 for every three days over there if it's still the same as it was. So we'll go grab a little bit more money and then we'll head over to the border over here. And I'll meet you guys once we're over there because apparently, again, there's a new town or two um apparently the fort's been updated as well so we're gonna want to check that out i think this is a full new town town of chaparosa i haven't seen that one before either i don't believe these were here either although i'm not sure what these are uh there's a desert sage over there and then i'm not sure what's over here as well and there's a smithy over here which i haven't seen before but i think that's just the mine so nothing there and new but we will see if this town's thriving a little bit more because when we checked it out there was like a couple people around mexico but not too many actually established towns with tons of people in them so maybe now there is uh let's head over to mexico check out some of the new towns as well as see if uh, mexico's thriving yet see what's over there and uh, just explore the lands once again now that again we've been away for a week or two we're gonna see what's been changed over there i'll see you guys once we have grabbed a little bit more money and are over at the border hopefully with no trouble getting let in and then uh, again checking out all the new stuff added to mexico i'll see you guys once we're over there all righty so we are over by the border now before we go in uh, there might be see if there's anything changed here i believe okay it doesn't look like it. it looks like this stuff's all the same are there any of these shops open yet there's not really that much over here though so let's head over the border and uh see what's changed again we did go to the first initial town that got added but i'm not sure apparently a lot's happened since then so uh doesn't look like there's any guards here so let's head over i guess we'll see doesn't seem to be any guards on the american side though let's see if there's any on the mexican uh wait here for inspection but doesn't look like there's anyone around so i mean we're not going to be waiting here all day i mean obviously if we see any guards we'll just pay them that's how we were doing it before so i don't think we should run into too many issues just you know obviously if we see one we'll just pay them the 20 dollars and we should be all right i think most of this stuff is still the same or at least most of this still seems the same so nothing too crazy here i think most of the development is done with the towns and the fort i believe as well has got changed up a little bit all right let's head down here though and uh, start heading over to the towns we'll probably go check out uh probably let's just go by whichever's closest i'm guessing this is going to be the closest so we'll check if there's anything new there probably not then we'll go check the main town that we saw earlier see if that's developed any and then we'll go check the new town that is over here that we have not seen yet we'll see how that is we'll also check out the fort at some point probably right before we leave and we'll probably do that so uh, let's go head over to the first town and i'll meet you guys once we're over there so we're over by where the first town should be like this is where i remember it being it looks like there's nothing here though so i'm not sure if there's supposed to be something here and it's just not loaded in for us or what's going on but i'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a town here it doesn't look like there's one here though uh let's head over to the main town i guess straight ahead of us over here Almatadero or whatever it is see if there's something there i'm not sure if we're bugged or if all this stuff was removed and well, i guess we'll just go check out the other town the main town that we were at before see if there's anything there all right so we're at where the other town should be should be right here but there's nothing here as well uh i'm a little confused i'm not i'm not sure if we're bugged or if 
the all the mexico just got deleted or what's happening right now all right so what i think we're gonna do is go check out the new mexico town if it's not there then we'll relog the only problem is if we relog and the towns are still bugged then uh that means we have no horse so we're a little screwed but uh i guess for now let's go head over to the new mexico town and uh hopefully that one's at least there let's go uh, let's go check it out hopefully that one is i'm not sure why these towns aren't here again i'm not sure if it's just us not loading them in or if the server i don't know i'm not i'm not exactly sure what happened but uh let's go head over to the new town and at least see if that one's here all righty so it was quite the journey over here but it looks like there's nothing here either now apparently some of the mexico maps were removed because uh it was causing people to crash but i'm guessing we are just bugging not loading in the stuff because that's what it seems like since we see absolutely nothing so uh this is gonna be a little risky but we're gonna flee our horse and uh, what we're gonna do is try and relog and hopefully stuff is here and i just noticed that there is no stable boy here so that's nice because the closest stable boy is all the way over here so uh that's gonna be a fun run when we come back but uh let's take a quick relog and then hopefully all these buildings will load in i will see you guys in uh, just a second hopefully after this we can see all the new buildings and uh, check out what's been going on in mexico all righty so cleared my cache i completely relogged from the server and still nothing is here so i'm guessing that this town is bugged or was removed because people were crashing or something so i guess we gotta make the whole freaking run over to the stable boy over here this is gonna take quite a long time i am not excited for this and uh, this pretty much makes our mexico trip quite the letdown as i wanted to check out all the new buildings for you guys but it seems like there's not really any around so uh, i guess we're gonna go over to the stable boy see if anything is back up over there maybe we can see stuff again either way i'll see you guys once we're over there it's gonna be a uh, quite the journey so a little bit of a problem as uh, as everything goes if you guys have been watching any of the series recently you should know that we have pretty much the worst luck and that luck continues with first of all not being able to find any buildings in mexico it seems the one day we decided to check it out there's no buildings here so that's fun secondly it seems like the stable boy isn't actually here there's actually no actual stable boy here if i go over here to exactly where it should be so it should be again right here there's obviously nothing here, so I can't exactly take out my horse. So that's a little rough. Again, it should be right literally here because, uh, again, we can't see anything down here. So obviously... Oh, wait, actually, wait. Stable boy? Come on. Come on. I saw the call menu. Come on. Oh! Okay, so we are able to get our horse. Okay, so the stuff's working, but... I don't know. I guess the towns are just bugged right now. That's what it seems like, at least let's one more time try riding over to the town over there maybe we can see it now all right so the town is not there so i'm guessing that we are bugged still or i guess they just removed all the i don't i'm not exactly sure what happened they might have just removed all the buildings in mexico and left all the script things there because i'm not really sure i don't i don't know i tried clearing my cache we tried relogging and everything to no avail so I guess let's just head back to the U.S. Um, sorry about not being able to show you guys all of the uh, new stuff added to Mexico. Hopefully we'll be able to see that soon. But uh, for now, I guess we'll just head back over the border. A little disappointing, but, you know, knowing our luck, shouldn't be too surprised. Let's head back over the border, though. And I'll see you guys once we're over there. Alrighty, so we are back over the border, of course. And I figured we'd go over to this guy that we did some of these shooting challenges with the other day and check and i believe someone has actually beaten our record we check the leaderboards real fast we can see mr alfred portman or partman or however you say it has beat us by one sees our records 30.5 and he got 31.5 so we have the money on us that we we're supposed to pay for mexico instead we're gonna waste more money that we should not be wasting right now and try and actually beat this record we get two goes at it so we might as well try. I believe if I remember they come out over here. Let's see if we can get our record back. Come on. They do come out from here, right? Oh, here we go. There we go. We got all of them. Do we beat the record though? Let's see. 32! Hey, we beat it. There we go. Now we're back in first. Gotta set the record straight. There we go. Back in first place. Whew. I had to get that back. 
Got to make sure we still have, you know, some of our reputation upheld. There we go. Getting our record back at least. Uh, let's head over to Strawberry though. See if anything's going on. And uh, I guess we'll go from there. I want to figure out more info about the treasure hunting. But apparently, after talking to some people, it might be bugged as well. But that seems like pretty much everything that uh, we want to try is bugged. And then the day we try it, it doesn't work. And then the day after, it's fixed. But that seems to be uh, our luck. But uh, let's also go quickly track check the crab trap. See if that's caught anything for us. And put some more bait in there as well. Let's quickly do that alrighty let's see real quick again this is gonna be like a really nice passive income i wish i placed it somewhere else but whatever it's a decent spot so let's check see what we got make sure our inventory is oh, our inventory is quite full uh we might drop some of it let's see uh and let's fill it up a little over half to let's do there did we get anything from that I do not believe we did. Wait, did we get... No, we did not get venison. Yeah, I don't believe we got anything from that. It might have been because our inventory was full, but maybe it's because there's been a restart since we last messed with this. So that might have done it as well. Or maybe you can only collect it within a certain amount of time from when you actually put the bait in. I'm not sure how this works exactly. It doesn't look like we got anything from that one, though. That might have been one because our inventory was a little too big or a little too full. Or two. Maybe we can't wait that long. Maybe we have to do it within a certain amount of time. But uh, let's again head over to Strawberry, see what's happening, see if anyone has got any more info about both, I guess, metal detecting or if the uh, photography is actually worth it. Let's go see what's happening in Strawberry. That is quite the fish you got there. Would you like to buy it? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you, though. <laughs> Doesn't seem like any of the gunsmiths are around. The usual people that we talk to here. Let's have a look-see, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Frankie's not in his office. All right. Actually, we can ask these people if they know anything about it. The treasure hunt and why not? Oh, my. <laughs> Howdy. 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 Not to interrupt, but uh, y'all know anything about metal detected by any chance? No, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm so muddy. Oh, my. Hey. <laughs> oh, my. I am A little so muddy. muddy. All right, well, they don't know about metal detecting either. It's definitely definitely something not many people know about and honestly unless we figure it out more it's not going to be worth it too much apparently people were just going around random spots and the thing was lighting up and they were finding them but i'm not too sure well i think that's actually going to be about it for today's episode i really wanted to check out all the new stuff in mexico unfortunately though it was bugged for us as whenever we want to actually check something interesting out is uh but you know that's just our luck as we've seen but i do think that's gonna be about it for this episode uh in the next one i still want to continue with the cocoa leaves thing although that's definitely gonna be more of a long-term goal i'm trying to get more info about it still but uh, in the next episode, I think what we're going to do is we actually have to make some money for once. So the next episode might be more of a money-making episode as our bank is down to about, I think, $600 or so. But uh, I think it's going to be about it for today. If you guys did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.